Hey, you guys. Time for Real Talk with Greg Russell. Back again with a preview of the new movies that are out. We have an interesting variety this weekend. That we do. That we do. Everything. Superheroes, teenagers. Well, let's start with Logan, because yeah. this is like unlike anything before it. Right. Uh, it's basically reimagining a superhero movie, like a X-Men kind of movie, as like a Western? Somewhat. I mean, here he is. It, it's he's, rated R, first right. of all. A oh, lot of violence, a lot of things going on in this movie. But it, it also deals with a man who really just wants to disappear. He's broken down, beat up. He's working as a chauffeur driver, or a limo driver, and just wants to disappear. He's also taking care of Professor X, who's suffering from kind of like a little bit of dementia, really. Okay. And he thinks that's what he's going to do with his life. But then as it turns out, there hadn't been any mutants for 20 years. But all of a sudden, they discovered a few who now all of a sudden have people coming after him. So thus, he gets pulled back into the fray. <laughs> they were, they're across the studio, they are really into what you're saying. I know, everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of backslapping and, and handshakes all around over there. What did you think about this one? I thought it was really good. I mean, like I said, it's it's a superhero movie, yes, but it's also a dramatic feature as well. Uh, very well acted. Hugh Jackman, I mean, everyone loves Hugh Jackman, and he does an excellent job, as always. Same with Patrick Stewart as well. So, How many reels? This one, four out of five, because I may be stepping across the line, but Jason, I think this one may be number one this weekend. Oh, you think so? You're going to go I, I way I'm gonna, out on I'm a limb? push that. <laughs> All right, well, next up we have The Shack, a movie based on a worldwide best sell, uh, seller about uh, heavy drama with religion in it. Yeah, this is all about uh, a guy who takes his kids out on a vacation. He's got two teenage kids and one, like, 10-year-old. Uh, one of the teenagers falls into the water. He goes to save that one. When he comes back, the youngest one has disappeared. Oh, and wow. as it turns out, she had been abducted. And he just can't cope you know, after they realized that she had passed away and got an opportunity to talk to some of the stars of the movie, and here's what they had to say. We've got this man who winds up losing a daughter and basically starts to somewhat lose his mind, but then through the help of you and some other folks, you really kind of help him see what the world's really all about. Absolutely. It's a, it's a man's journey. I think we've, we all encounter um, tragedies mm -hmm. and uh, problems that sometimes we can't really seem to figure our way out of. So I, I think it's a beautiful way uh, for him to re-examine uh, his grief because we grieve differently. You know, we actually get to see like different expressions mm -hmm. of what heaven looks like and yeah. it was beautiful. I think um, what's beautiful about how things are presented in this uh, movie is uh, God manifests himself in a way that is palatable to, palatable to this young man's experience. Right. And so uh, maybe he'd always dreamed of a cabin. So I, I think it's just about uh, breaking down those barriers so that you're able to receive the message. The movie does a lot to move you on an emotional level and take you on a kind of emotional journey where you feel like you're learning something. And it does so within that context of the Christian dialogue. Mm -hmm. So if you are, if you come from a Christian background, yeah. in a way it explains your faith to you. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't, that's just another way of looking at the world. Seems very compelling. How mm -hmm. many reels? This one, three out of the five. Uh, like you said, it is, it's a compelling film and it also gives you a whole different perspective of say heaven, God, and different things like that. So very inspirational. Uh, the next movie you have is Before I Fall. It's kind of a dark twist on Groundhog Day. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it's Groundhog Day, but it's just not funny. But it's not supposed to be. Okay. Uh, all about a teenage girl who keeps reliving the day that she dies over and over. And at first she's thinking, why, am, why is this happening? But just like in Groundhog's Day, she realizes after a while that she's do, that's happening so she can help out people. In fact, had an opportunity to talk to uh, Zoe Deutsch, who is the star of the movie. And here's what she had to say. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm so happy to see you too. <laughs> My goodness, it, it was only a month ago. but It was just a month ago. We were here talking about why him, and yep. now we're talking about... Before I Fall. Before I Fall. Whole interesting movie here. <laughs> there you go. I mean, yeah. it, it was almost kind of like, not an, obviously not in a comic way, but like Groundhog's Day, but she had to keep reliving a day really just to get things right. I guess right. you could say it's, with her life. Yeah, it, it's about a, a girl who relives her last day over and over again until mm -hmm. she discovers how to... I guess, right her own wrongs. Yeah, because like you said, I mean, when you first see her, I mean, she's got this idyllic life. I mean, beautiful family, beautiful suburban home. Right. Her, 
her girlfriend, they're all beautiful, they go to this great school. What's to be upset about? Right, I think that the first day, the way that I labeled day one in the structure of this movie was unconscious day. It was her yeah. just living about her life, taking things for granted, and uh, just moving about in this unconscious way, and being a bystander, and, and by being a bystander, being a bully to mm -hmm. other people in her high school, um, whilst also actually being bullied as well. But she kept learning on each experience. Right, right. And it's also a journey about a, it's a young, it's, it's about someone who's trying to discover who they want to be, who yeah. they want to be now and who they want to be when they die, which is you know, immensely deep. And, 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 mm -hmm. and although it is, it is a, a discussion of death and, and who you want to be when you die, the film mm -hmm. by the end of it to me feels like a celebration of life. Okay, uh, it's for the teens. How many reels? Uh, you're uh, this a, one a little bit older than a yeah. teenager, but right. <laughs> we'll give it like a two out of the five. But guaranteed, any teenage boy, this is your going. This is going to be your date movie. <laughs> oh yeah, you're going to take the girl. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say they're going to be crushing on her. Uh, to enter, uh, you have to. Well, first of all, let's talk about the prizes. Right, Doctor Strange is coming out on um, download as well as Blu-ray very soon. So we've got some Doctor Strange stuff for you, mm -hmm. including you know the pop. Big head toys, <laughs> that's what we just call them now. Plus digital downloads of the movie, plus your own Doctor Strange coffee mug, as well as keychain, and this t-shirt, which is really, really nice. Not strange at all. Not strange at all. And once again, call him Doctor Strange, because if you call him Mr. Strange, he gets upset. <laughs> to enter to win, go to our Live in the D Facebook page. Contest rules are on clickondetroit.com. You got it. Yeah, there you see. They Look at that. that. The crack staff in the control room, yeah. I said four live in the D, and they boom. Oh, right it's there. right there. Right. How do you like that? Chuck, over to you. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> <laughs>